Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to show you a new feature in KSQL as of Confluent Platform 5.0, Insert Into. You'd want to use this feature when you've got the same kind of data coming in from two different sources. So imagine you've got two producers producing data to two different topics, and the data they're producing has the same schema. Now, maybe there are reasons elsewhere in the system why it's not all in the same topic to begin with. It could be like two different groups of IoT devices or two different data centers emitting logging events. And maybe there are processes elsewhere in the system that need those streams to remain separate. But for purposes of your stream processing in KSQL, you want it all in the same stream. Insert into is the thing you need to fix this problem. In our example here, we have orders data. Some of it is being produced by a local system, and some of it is coming in from some hypothetical third-party system. The records are produced into two separate Kafka topics, local and third-party. The first step is to register those topics with KSQL as streams. We do that with the create stream command. The data in the topics happens to be in Avro format. Now, that means that the schema for the data is being managed by the Confluent Schema Registry, and we don't need to specify any of it in the create stream statement. If this had been JSON data, we'd have to be explicit about all the field names and their data types in the create stream. So, we've registered the local order stream and the third party order stream. We can describe both of those streams and see their schemas picked up from the schema registry. The important thing to note here is that the schemas for these two streams are the same. Now, we can create a target stream to contain the combined events from both of the source streams. If it helps you to think of it in relational database terms, it's kind of like doing a union. The result is going to have the same schema as the sources, but with the content of both source streams combined into that one stream. We start this with the create stream as select statement. We're basing it off the local orders stream, starting with that one. And notice the funky thing we're doing with the syntax there, that uh, local as source bit before the star in the select star. What we're doing is adding a column to indicate the provenance of the data, in this case, local. All the records that end up in the combined stream will be labeled as having come from the local stream in that new artificial column. In fact, let's take a look at the schema of the combined stream, keeping in mind that we haven't actually done any of the combining yet. We're still just getting things set up here. You can see that the source column is right there, just like we said we wanted it to be. Let's even do a quick select and look at some of the records. We can see the data is steadily flowing in, and that provenance column is right there telling us all of those records are local. Now, let's actually use the insert into statement I told you we were going to use. We've already created our combined stream, so we can't do another create stream as select. Now we use insert into. The syntax is actually very similar to create stream as select. We say insert into, give the name of the stream we want to add the records to, and then give the select statement that provides the source of those additional records. And just like create stream, insert into is an example of a persistent query. You could see that because when we type it, we just come back to the command line like nothing happens. That means the query is running in the background, happily inserting records while you're off going to product meetings or writing automated tests or doing your taxes or whatever it is you want to do. The stream is running. Let's have a detailed look at all orders now with the describe extended command. It shows us that two queries are contributing to this stream. And it doesn't have to stop with two. We could write additional insert into statements if we wanted to. Describe extended gives us other good things too. We can look at runtime statistics. We can see the schema again, just like plain old describe gives us. And we can even see what Kafka topic is behind this stream we're creating. That's taking all of these new records that we're merging into this one stream. And let's actually look at the records in that combined stream with a select statement. We can see records from both the local source and the third party source. As data arrives into either of those two source topics, the records are combined into this stream with their source queries adding that provenance column just in case we need it. So that's insert into a new feature in KSQL available in Confluent Platform 5.0. Check it out.